My name is Eiji. I am a fourth year in university who lives alone. Unfortunately, I don't have a girlfriend. The reason why a lonely man like me is waiting at this station during my day off like this is because I came to pick up a friend whom I promised to meet here. Apparently, that friend of mine is coming here to job hunt. But my, it's been a while since I last met Haruka. Haruka wasn't a friend from the same school as mine or anything, but a friend from the countryside of my mother's hometown. During elementary school, I used to play with Haruka often when I went to visit the area for summer break. Although we've been talking to each other through mail, I wondered what Haruka looked like now. Eiji! Haruka! It's been a while! Yep, this is my friend Haruka. He's always had a pretty face since he was young, but it seems he turned into quite a handsome man. He's got pleasant androgynous features and I'm sure he has a girlfriend now. Really? Long time no see. Maybe around 10 years or so. Yeah, it's been around that much since I last visited. Man, why did you suddenly stop coming? I got busy with cram school and club activities. I didn't have time to go. Hmm, then I guess he couldn't help it. He seemed to understand and was content with my excuse. After all, I think everyone goes through getting busy with cram school at around 5th grade. Well then, A.G. Thank you for offering to tour me around. Yeah, leave it to me. So, is there anywhere you'd like to visit? Hmm, let's see. Uh, ah, I want to go to your house first. My house? Sure, but it's messy, you know? I don't mind. If anything, I can help you clean it up. Don't regret saying that later, okay? This is where you live? That was the first thing Haruka said when he saw my room. Everywhere else other than the bed I slept on was covered with stuff and stuff everywhere. Well, I'm sure most guys who live alone have a room like this. So, I told you right. Don't regret it, I said. Well, are you still going to help me clean it? Uh, of course. You should help out too, though. Okay. There isn't anything I need to hide from you anyway. Well then, can you clean these cans first? While that, I clean the books. Uh, what's this? Why are there such lewd books here? Dude, I'm a guy living alone. Isn't it normal? And these are... Uh, porn videos? And you said you don't have anything to hide. There isn't a thing to hide from a fellow man like you. Please, you're open. Uh, wait. Uh, you even have porn games! Ah, that's something a friend forgot at my house. I don't dig those kind of stuff. I like short-haired girls with big boobs. Huh? Huh? Uh, is that so? Hmm. hmm. He's not reacting to that as I expected him to. I thought I'd get a response like I did before. Haruka, what's wrong? You're suddenly so quiet. Huh? Nothing. You're imagining things. I don't think so. Oh, I know. Hmm, I see. So you want to play that game, don't you? Of course not, idiot! You pervert! Whoops! As we went had such a conversation, we finished our cleaning. Thanks to Haruka, my room was able to transform into a neat and tidy one. Oh, it's already this late. I have to find somewhere to stay for the night. Then, why don't you just sleep over here? Save some money. Uh, here? R really? Of course. We're both men, so you don't have to hesitate. But, how about your girlfriend? I don't have one, so don't worry. Oh, so you don't have a girlfriend. Uh, then, I'll accept your kind offer and sleep over. Yeah, you can stay here for as long as you like. With that, I started living with my old childhood friend of mine for a short while. Because he felt bad that he was sleeping over, he took over all the house chores. Because of that, my lifestyle changed drastically and a little incident occurred. Ugh, I'm so sleepy. My girlfriend didn't let me sleep last night. Uh, is that so? This annoying man who always came to talk to me during my peaceful mealtime is Laito Aori. We're in the same seminar class. But 
wear nothing more or less than that. Because he is handsome, he likes to go to unpopular classmates and brag about his life. It's really amazing to have a girlfriend, A.G. The whole world looks bright and beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you didn't have one. You're awfully forgetful, aren't you? That's why you failed the tests, you know. You might have to repeat a year if this continues. Your girlfriend might dump you, huh? What do you know about a girl when you don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> yes, I know it sounded like Sarg raping. When a guy like me with no girlfriend says that, but he was just so irritating. What do I know, huh? I wonder for how long people will think of me like that. Oh? So that means you have a girlfriend now? Yep, you are correct. And I have to tell you, she's beautiful. Much more than your girlfriend. Oh, brave of you to say. You want to compete with me? Compete? Let's show off our girlfriends to each other next Sunday. And the person who loses has to pay for the date. What do you think? You down? Um... Ah, that reaction. You don't have a girlfriend, do you? You just said it because you were upset. <laughs> How lame. That's why you're so unpopular. <laughs> Fine. I'll accept. Good. Then it's decided. Don't you escape, A.G. With that, he finally went away. The way he said that sounded like he knew I was lying from the beginning. He's really so irritating. <sighs> so... Could you please be my girlfriend, Haruka? Excuse me? I explained my situation to Haruka. Just this Sunday! I beg you! But... It's too sudden. Isn't there anyone else you can ask? It has to be you! You have a cute face too! I know you'd be drop-dead gorgeous if you dress up as a girl! G gorgeous uh, You think so? Well then... You do it for me? Yeah, I will. Let's make that friend of yours sorry. Thank you, my best friend! I did think I was asking for too much, but I was able to get his support. Now all I had to do was wait for Sunday. <laughs> your Eiji's girlfriend? Yes, my name is Haruka. On the day of our double date, Laito froze in shock at Haruka's sight. Although his girlfriend was right next to him, he couldn't take his eyes off of him. I'm sorry to be rude, but really? Yes, I'm his girlfriend. A beautiful girl like you is the girlfriend of a man like him? He's not even rich nor handsome. Yeah, what do you say might be true? Hey. But he's very kind. He lets me live with him knowing that I don't have money. On our days off, he takes me to places too. What? <laughs> You're living together? Ugh. To our surprise, he took a glance at his girlfriend and gave a huge sigh. That wasn't good. I'm going home! Uh, well, wait. I didn't mean to do that. You didn't mean to? I'm breaking up with you. Don't follow me. Uh, she dumped me. Maybe he's never been dumped before? Hayori was in quite a shock. He disappeared after having a slight tantrum. Wasn't the person who lost supposed to pay for the date? Are you satisfied? Yeah, thank you. Ah, that felt good. So, what are you going to do after this? Of course, let's go hang out somewhere. I mean, it is a date after all. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, why did you get the couple seat? Why not? It is a date, right? Isn't it weird to get the couple seat when we are both men? It's fine. Come on, let's go. Hey, it's my first time taking a picture at the photo booth. The truth is, me too. There aren't any places like this back in my hometown. It's way out in the countryside, right? Yeah, that's why I've always wanted to do this. I see. But you must be disappointed since it's with me. Th that's not true. I'm happy I'm here with you, A.G. <laughs> you don't have to lie like that. We're friends, right? I'm not lying. Did you say something? Nothing! You're an idiot, A.G. Whoa! It looks delicious! 
I don't usually eat crepe, but it's actually quite good. Right? Oh, AG, you've got cream on your cheek. Huh? Oh. Uh, s sorry, I just... No, no worries. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Why am I getting embarrassed like this? Haruka's a guy. Like that, my date with Haruka came to an end. Although I knew we were both men, it felt like I was on a date with a real girl. My heart was thumping hard the whole time. Haruka was cute and our personalities matched too. If he really were a girl... Wait, what am I thinking? I guess I'm going crazy just because he's visually so my type. Haruka, I'll give you the keys, so can you go home first? Yeah, sure. But why? I'm gonna go shopping for a bit. I need a few things for school tomorrow. Okay, be careful. I thought I would be thinking of weird things if I went home with him like this. So, I decided to go cool my head with a short jog. I'm sure moving my body will help me from confusion. That's what I thought, but... I'm... home? <laughs> I... I'm sorry! Harka, I'll leave right away! I couldn't believe it. I ran into Haruka in his... underwear. I thought I just saved my confused brain. But it was now copy and pasting the scene I just saw. And wait, Haruka's a girl? You can... come in now. Uh, okay then. Um... Did you see it? Yes. I totally saw you in your underwear. Uh, how was it? You were very sexy. Really? Well done. I guess it's fine. Wait, what's fine? I mean, you were a girl? Then that means I was blabbering on about my type and fetishes to a girl? Ah! I'm sorry I kept it a secret. <laughs> Why were you hiding this from me? I didn't mean to keep this act going for this long. I was actually going to tell you the truth on the first day. Then why did you? That's because... I thought that if I kept it a secret, I can continue living with you like this. If you found out that I was a girl, you wouldn't have told me that I could stay with you, right? Well, that's true, but... That's why I couldn't tell you. I saw that if I pretended to be a boy, I would be able to be with a man I liked. So, I just couldn't. Is that so? Hmm. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> I just said something so important. Why didn't you hear it? I'm never going to say it again, so listen up, okay? I said I like you, AG. I like you. That's why I thought that if I kept it a secret, I can stay with you. I kept it a secret because I wanted to continue living with the man I like, understand? Yes, I understand. Good. So, what's your answer? Um, I'm still very confused and I can't put my thoughts in order. But there was one thing I was sure about. I like you too, Haruka. Although I don't know if it's a like as a friend, or as the opposite gender, but... Okay, then that's fine for now. Is it? I wasn't able to give you a proper answer. I know you can't help it. You thought I was a guy all this time, right? It's mostly my responsibility. Well, I guess that is true. But I don't plan on leaving things like this. I'll make you like me as a girl in time. Haruka seemed very confident when she said that. If she kept this going, I'm sure she would go from friend to lover in no time. <laughs>